Will Rockstar get back to updating Red Dead Online after release of GTA 6? And when will we receive at least some sort of a new content, at least some small update, you know, different from usual monthly bonuses and discounts in Red Dead Online? These two questions about the future of Red Dead Online I see most often on my streams and in the comments, and that's why I decided to discuss it today, especially since I have a good reasons to believe that pretty soon, probably even in September, we will see at least something new in Red Dead Online. But before talking about this nearest future, let's discuss what will happen with Red Dead Online when GTA 6 will be released. Because a lot of people still believe that Rockstar will start making big updates for Red Dead Online after release of GTA 6. Well, here are two reasons why it's not gonna happen. First of all, Rockstar officially admitted that few years ago they started to relocate resources from Red Dead Online to GTA 6. I don't think that they were honest here, because you know such big company as Rockstar definitely have enough resources to work on GTA 6 and Red Dead Online at the same time. But in any way, when GTA 6 will be released, Rockstar will still need these resources, or maybe even more resources, to work on GTA 6, yes, after release. Why do I think so? Well, take a look at this article made by Jason Schreier for Bloomberg. He gives such information about GTA 6. Initially, Rockstar planned to make a huge territory for GTA 6, but then they changed their plans and, quoting, cut the main map down to a fictional version of Miami and its surrounding areas. And then he continues, Rockstar's plan is now to continually update the game over time, adding new missions and cities on a regular basis, which the leadership hopes will lead to less crunch during the game's final month. Still, the game will remain large, with more interior locations than previous Grand Theft Auto games impacting the timeline. So, according to this information, Rockstar will still have a lot of work to do even after release of GTA 6. And yes, I hope that these new missions and cities will be added to GTA 6 in the form of DLCs, but probably it's gonna be a content for GTA 6 online. Unfortunately, but in any way, it doesn't look like they will share share some resources with Red Dead Online. Because, and we are moving to the second reason here, by the time when GTA 6 will be released, you know, in best case scenario is gonna be two years from now, there will be almost no players left in Red Dead Online. I mean, already amount of concurrent players decreased dramatically. Let me show you data for Red Dead Online standalone, I took it from SteamDB. Anyway, yesterday, 24 hour peak of concurrent player was one. 1,976 players. It's for the first time in history this number is smaller than 2,000. Like, hooray, record, and you know what? Today this number will be even lower, and so on. Amount of concurrent players who play in Red Dead Redemption 2, you know, the full version, is also decreasing. Yes, numbers are much better, but we don't know how many people who bought Red Dead Redemption 2 full version are playing in Red Dead Online. Unfortunately, we don't have any sort of a data about amount of players who play on consoles, on Epic Store, on Rockstar Launcher, but looking at these stats from SteamDB, we can tell about the tendency. And tendency is clear. Amount of players will be decreasing each day, each month, when there is no new content in Red Dead Online. Yes, there are always new players, and yes, amount of concurrent players will be increased when Rockstar will put Red Dead Online standalone and Red Dead Redemption 2 on a sale. And they are giving such discounts all the time, but still, by the time when GTA 6 will be released, online will be so low, so dramatically insignificant to Rockstar, that they will just not care about Red Dead Online at all. I mean, they don't care about it now, what will happen in few years. Actually, there is one possible scenario in which amount of Red Dead Online players will increase. It will happen only if Rockstar will make Red Dead online standalone edition free to play. Let me know in the comments what do you think, if it's possible or not, and also would you like Red Dead Online to go free to play? Probably not, but unfortunately from my point of view it's like the only hope for this game. You know, hope for getting some significant and big updates again, not some bonuses, discounts or blood money. And now let's talk about content that we gonna receive soon in Red Dead Online, probably in September. Why do I think so? Again, because of data from SteamDB. But you might
might say, well, cat, nothing changed. You said it many times yourself. QA beta for Red Dead Redemption 2 is being updated almost daily, but the important deport, which contains new content, was not updated and it's probably just fixes and stuff like that. Yes, it's true, no important changes happened to Red Dead Redemption 2, but for some reasons, important changes happened to Red Dead Online standalone. Yes, nobody cares about this, nobody watches this, but on 5th of August, instead of updating QA beta branch, Rockstar started to update QA live branch, and they update it daily, and usually it happens right before some sort of an update, some sort of a downloadable content. Unfortunately, they were not touching the pods that usually contain some brand new content, but you know what, there is a lot of existing content in a game files that were not just released. For example, it can be new telegram missions, and yes, Rockstar promised us only this content, that's it. On the other hand, Rockstar were updating QA beta and now QA live branches almost every day for many months now, and it's kinda too much of work for only releasing new telegram missions, so there definitely will be some significant security improvements and maybe some other changes, who knows, maybe there will be some variety of quality of life improvements, maybe even they will finally fix old annoying bugs and stuff like that. Anyway, since Rockstar started to update QA Live branch for Red Dead Online, it's really likely that pretty soon in September we will receive patch with all these fixes and probably new telegram missions. And I know that a lot of viewers will ask about new outlaw passes, so I would rather give my opinion here. From SteamDB it doesn't look like there will be new outlaw pass, but I mean they can at least bring back old outlaw passes. Unfortunately, it's the best players can hope for, and yes, a lot of people want to see at least old outlaw passes, because a lot of players in Red Dead Online never ever had a chance to buy outlaw pass or quick draw club. One more thing, I actually found it really weird that for Red Dead Redemption 2 full game, they updating only QA beta, while for Red Dead Online they already updating QA live. It's weird, because Red Dead Redemption 2 full game and Red Dead Online standalone is basically the same game, it has exactly the same size, which is, you know, makes no sense, but it is what it is. So what, they will release some patch for Red Dead Online standalone only, not for Red Dead Redemption 2, so players who play Red Dead Online and have Red Dead Redemption 2 are not gonna receive this patch, or what? I actually was sure that it's just some sort of a mistake, and that's why when I saw that for Red Dead Online QA Live started to receive updates, I decided not to talk about it and wait for quite some time and see if they gonna change it, maybe they will start updating Red Dead Redemption's 2 QA Live branch as well, but no, they are still updating QA Beta branch for RDR2 and QA Live for Red Dead Online. So I have no reasonable explanation on why it's happening, it almost looks like Rockstar is trying to hide the fact that they are getting some patch or update to be released, but you know there is nothing to hide, we're not gonna receive anything significant. Anyway guys, if you have any ideas why it's happening, let me know in the comments. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video, I gave you some information that I have, and thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.